Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. Upper right hand corner, we have Master Ray as the Gray Protoss. He's currently up two games to nil. Doodle Doodle. Or just Doodle? I'm just, I'll call him just Doodle. Bottom right hand corner, or she? I don't even know. Bottom right hand corner is the Blue Protoss. I have not come across Doodle before. And I will have to go back and check other games. Also, this is kind of the general invite to everybody. If you are a BSL or just kind of a generally known player out on the ladder there, and you are participating in tournaments and things, please send me your replays through a third party so I am not spoiled as far as... not So, so there aren't spoilers, not so I'm not spoiled. I'm spoiled getting your replays. But basically, I know if I'm getting a replay from, like, I don't know, X17, waifu, whatever, that odds are that they won it, right? So if you send it through a third party, then there's a little bit of mystery, particularly if, against, if it's against another player. So if you have a really fun replay, send it that direction. I would love to cast it. Especially if it's highlighting your BSL participation at any level. Both players not opting for cheese, going for that pylon first. Master Ray, though, I've been really impressed by his play. You can just see the decision making and just his timing has been fantastic. Especially, I feel like when he, uh, with the shuttle timings, it just feels like there are multiple opportunities where he was forcing Doodle to expend. It's almost like Master Ray with less is forcing his opponents to do more in almost every regard. Gateway planting just alongside the Nexus for Doodle and sending his probe out. <laughs> Didn't catch it on the way out. Looks like it is going to good. It's going to do a clockwise scout, and unfortunately, that is going to give his probe information last. He is going to see the Ursidon with just nine health. Poor Ursidon. I wonder if it regenerates health. I wonder if they leave it at low health just so someone can go ahead and attack it and have it explode on the map. It's so violent this game. Anyway, clockwise scout is well for Master Ray, so he's going to go ahead and get that initial scout inside of his opponent's base, and he's going to see that gateway and assimilator warping in. I wonder if there's ever been a gas steal in PvP. I know that sometimes you can end up with a manor pylon, which is possible. I haven't seen either of these players kind of go for the manor pylon. Usually if you're doing that, you're going for more of a zealot opener and being a little bit more aggressive, so I don't think we're going to see that here. Cybernetic score plopping down. I remember trying desperately in long periods of time. And ooh, Master Ray actually holding back on the gas, so only sending a single probe in, which suggests... Okay, now... Ooh, might lose a little bit of minerals right there. A little bit of delay on his gas. I don't know if it'll be all that significant. But a little bit of floundering there on getting his gas in. First cell it has been produced. First sell it there, and is not going to be able to block that probe scout just by a slight delay. I'm wondering if that was the timing of the scout that was sent out from Doodle. He's like, I know I can get in the base before that first sell it is out in the field. Based on all of this. But both players, as a result, going to get an eyeful and see what their opponents are up to equivalently, at least until that initial Dragoon's produced. But yeah, I remember trying to play PvP way back in, what is it, 09, 08, and the old Icy Cup days. And I was thinking, like, maybe if I can get my gas earlier. And I kept trying that, and it just it did not work. Point being, use these standard PvP builds. <laughs> if you're looking for something creative, look in... I actually feel like Hasu and Chobu have had some interesting builds. I feel like that's the place to look as far as stuff that'll work at the mid and lower levels. But anyway. Probe. Unfortunately passing by right as Master Ray's Dragoon was there. So it's getting taken out. And it looks like Master Ray's Probe Scout has exited... Once again, another testament to Master Ray's timing and efficiency here. Continue to sing those praises. Both players are going for range. It doesn't look like either one has opted to cancel the range upgrade. Looks like Master Ray does that probes back at home base, but hasn't been reassigned. There we go. Dropping a second gateway. And we do see... So we see one gate robo from Doodle. And a two gate opener this time. Three gate opener for Master Ray. Doodle might be in a little bit of trouble, depending on what he opens with. If he opens Observatory, oftentimes there is an opportunity for your opponent to push in with a lot of those attack forces and either wipe out your natural expansion or deny it. Second gateway, so a little bit of a shift here because we do have that second gateway dropped for Doodle. So he still might be able to get a Robo to follow up. The question is, does he go Robotics Bay, or does he go Observatory first? And so essentially in, I don't know, three minutes or so, Master Ray might have a shot to have a superior attack force on the ground. Doodle moving up with his ground army to try to get a good look and see what he can see at the natural expansion. And I think he's going to get, we'll see if he can see what he sees. Master Ray actually putting a forward zealot and might... Ooh, it's going to take a couple free shots, which is not what you want 
with even numbers like this. Is he going to send just one Dragoon? Just sending one Dragoon down. Being very stingy with the reinforcements here, which is wise. But four Dragoons versus three. That should send Doodle back. And Doodle isn't going to get a good spot, yeah, on anything else. And I like what Master Ray is doing. He's just sending those four Dragoons. So not revealing... Oh, I take it back. He's thinking about pressing this. So six Dragoons actually making their way across. Needs to be careful with the county sending out. He did open up Robo. And we do see that Reaver being built. So I think Master Ray might end up at a slight disadvantage here overall. Particularly on the high ground. But it will depend on how rapidly he decides to take his Nexus. And how hard he commits to this three gate opener. Reaver should be finished before anything's happening along that line. And honestly with just this few Dragoons on the low ground. I believe this Zealot and these Dragoons can press forward, use the high ground advantage, and that... We'll see. It, it'll come down to a bit of micromanagement. Pulling back, plopping a cannon down, just in case there were Dark Templar, because he doesn't have an Observatory, keep in mind. So a bit of an economic hit on Master Ray in that regard. And again, he had a Sinning going to try to deny this natural expansion, but now that this Reaver is here, and actually a second Reaver being built... With another True Dragoons, there might be an opportunity to kind of just press out of the low ground. The one thing is, keep in mind, this is a natural funnel. And Master Ray looks like he is saving resources to go ahead and plop and get his natural expansion up. So going to do that denial thing. Here Doodle goes. This is going to be a critical engagement here, particularly how involved this Reaver is. That Reaver mostly silent thus far, and he really needed it involved in this fight. Now the Reaver finally coming down. It is not firing any Scarabs. It is not fired a single shot. So Master Ray, yeah, he loses some ground here, but he really didn't lose a lot of army otherwise. He is going to get this natural expansion up earlier. And he looks like he's kind of establishing to go ahead and deny that inside nine. Oof. Two Reavers on the front, which makes Doodle feel very, very secure. He might have a follow-up opportunity to go ahead and do some Reaver grass. We'll see if he goes for the speed shuttle to follow. He's still sitting at the two gates compared to three. Level and weapons upgrades, so it looks like Master Ray, wants, once he gets that observatory up, might want to cycle this into maybe the Citadel of a Dune, uh, some Zelt leg speed, and try to press that advantage of just having more raw army on the ground. Especially with Doodle's proclivity recently, to have this shuttle be out in the field and go for kind of those... That, that's how we basically won game one. So Shuttle is scooping up those Reavers. Doodle pressing forward. Now the question is, is, is he going to go all the way around or is he just going to try to dive in, try to retake map control? Going into a little bit of a high ground. Lucky initial hits. I don't think any of those missed. Usually you end up with more misfire than that. And as a result, Mastery actually losing three Dragoons to basically none. Wow. I'm going to try... So I want to chalk that up to skill, but that was really misfire luck. Uh, for Doodle. Usually you have more misfiring Dragoons in those engagements, but nice focus fire from Doodle from the low ground with, I think, that shuttle doing a little bit of spotting forward to get something accomplished. Now he's going to try to press this. I like Master Ray actually looking to create kind of a, a pincer attack. Doodle cleverly going the safe long route around. And we'll see if he has more luck. This is going to be, what is that, seven Dragoons on the high ground going up against inferior numbers, but again, you get that Misfire chance, which usually can provide an advantage. Now that those Reavers are plopped down, going to have to back up. Again, good focus fire on Doodle's part. Picking off another Dragoon. That shuttle a little bit exposed. Master Ray able to get a couple hits on it. At least peel off the shields. And a probe actually sneaking. I'm wondering what this probe is up to. Sneaking around that back corner, able to dive down and get some damage. I guess he wanted to just see what the army composition was. Probe for scouting there as well. Natural expansion saturated for both players. Four gateways now. Weapons 1 is finished. Armor is upgrading. That probe has been taken out. Do we see a Citadel to follow up from Master Ray? He does have a handful of observers. Nothing yet. And Doodle is being aggressive. Here's that, that peel off of that shuttle. He does... He is going up against a couple Dragoons. And look at the timing from this from Master Ray. He has these Dragoons in position to cope with this. Doodle needs to be very careful with these Reavers. This is his current advantage. He's sitting at four gateways now as well. But he's going to be behind as far as the raw gateway unit count. Trying to peel around with those Reavers. Take out... Now, is he going to get pincered here? Looks like Master Ray is just going to let that stand. And is not going to engage. So it's just going to end up losing a handful of these Dragoons. And now Doodle pressing forward. But he's going into his superior attack force. He needs to be careful. Plus these Dragoons are going to get on top of those Reavers behind. Shuttle's down. One Reaver's down. Only got two Scarab shots off. And it looks like that third Reaver's down fairly rapidly. Plus the weapon's one advantage. 
And Doodle's gonna end up losing his army, I think, with that reinforcement point. Because yes, he has a superior Dragoon force, but this is what? Seven Dragoons plus close reinforcement points and weapons one advantage with that cannon. A couple probes coming off the line. So Doodle, losing the majority of his army. He has more reinforcements peeling up, but this is, a cl again, close reinforcement point. Plus, this is five gateways, and I don't think he realized... I'm not sure if he spotted that level one weapons advantage, but Master Ray needs some more cannons because he needs another way of, dra of Dragoons to fight this off. Front cannon being peeled away. More Dragoons coming out. Probes are going to have to come off the line to defend this. Doodle continuing to try to press this raw unit count advantage. Another cannon down before it even warps in. And that was a lot of resources lost right there. A couple probes getting lost as well, and now Doodle backing off. So actually, do so despite the close reinforcement points, despite having being behind in the overall weapons count, because he was able to press forward and with that initial, I guess, reaver attack, get some additional damage down. Doodle pressing forward into this with an overall Dragoon count advantage. Maybe because Master Ray's focus fire not quite as on point. Reinforcements coming back down, but again, better concavity. The level one weapon's not able to provide a large advantage, and Doodle still with the superior Dragoon count on the ground, and as a result, getting a t a hits on that cannon, and also getting a couple disrupting a good amount of mining here at that natural. So even though Master Ray is two base versus two base, his mining's been disrupted, the gas has been halted. He has a lot of gateways, but he hasn't been able to produce out of them, essentially. And Doodle, with his superior Dragoon count, actually might be able to take this Nexus down and take his first win in this match. Yeah, just pounding here. Oof. And Master Ray, yeah, okay, trying to get... Wow, he's gone up to a significant amount of gateways to try to combat this. Has some Zealots. Doesn't have leg speed. The Zealots actually getting on top of the Dragoons right now, but the Nexus has been taken out. So even though, even if he is able to fight this off, he's at a severe disadvantage now. Severe. And he's going to have to go all in. He's going up against, what is that, five, six gateways on the opposite corner. Oof. And a lot of units, comparatively. Zealot Lake Speed is just about finished for Doodle. And honestly, Doodle has an option. Either he can just sit back and go ahead and take an additional base. Looks like he's going to go ahead and spy it out and go ahead and do a blockade just in case Master Ray was going to do a quick double Nexus take to try to sneak back in this game. Ooh, he's going to lose that Observer as well. Yeah, I think Master Ray actually would be better suited just canceling that Nexus and using the resources to go ahead and get additional gateway units because I think he is at that stage where I don't know that he can sneak back into this unless he could just sneak around and get his own snipe. A Zealot running all the way through. It's going to get wiped out. Now Master Ray engaging, not having a full... Yeah, this is kind of a smattering of an army, not fully engaged on any one engagement point. These Dragoons here at the inside nine going to get wiped out. That Zealot is going to die fairly rapidly before it's able to accomplish anything. But Doodle now with a huge army, a gigantic supply lead. His army a little bit scattered. But honestly, if he just gathers up and goes, despite the, the weapons and armor upgrade differential, he should be able to just flat out smatter anything Master Ray can put out. A couple Zealots getting a little bit out in the field. Yeah, this is, again, not enough Dragoons, I think, to to fully engage. A couple units being pulled back. But yeah, again, Master Ray might lose his natural a second time. And honestly, I think this might be GG for Master Ray. Maybe. He's got a couple Zealots. It looks like he and Dragoon, well, a Zealot and some Dragoons sneaking back across. Does Doodle have reinforcements coming into this? Actually, so now the weapons upgrade with even numbers starting to show, but great focus fire by Doodle. Look at that. Engaging and just popping Dragoon after Dragoon after Dragoon in these engagements. Continuing to press this advantage. Is feeling it. He's going up against a little bit of a high ground disadvantage. At this stage, though, I think he should back off. Sizable supply advantage is seven probes up. He should just go ahead and, yeah, cut his losses, take his third, I think. Master Ray has reestablished his natural expansion. Master Ray might have found himself some breathing room here. I like the additional denial of pylons here, any sort of additional third base that Master Ray might be able to take. High Templar out for Doodle. Looking for the Templar Archives to get a status. We do have Psystorm about halfway finished for Doodle as well. And he is setting up to go ahead and take his third. Master Ray is not out of this game, but he is in bad shape. Significantly behind in probe count. Well behind in mining. His main is almost mined out, so he's basically mining at one base. 
he was relying on kind of gateway man and again gateway man works when you are kind of in a when you have more economy to work with some dark templar on the ground as well to provide additional disruption and i don't know that master ray looking for his observers and his observer account i don't see any observer with this initial army so he might be able to take out some pylons but that's basically all he could do at that 12 o'clock and with this archon these dark templars some psi storm to back it up doodle could honestly take two bases using his probes to do the scouting here Zelts careening their way in. High ground advantage, but Master Ray, yeah, I think he's got to dive into it. He's got to use the... And here's the thing. Doodle's done a fantastic job on these engagements. Just focus firing. A nice Zealot blockade. The Archon getting on top of it, doing some nice splashes. A beautiful side storm all over those Dragoons on that back line, and I think that might be it. We'll see, though. That is, there is the weapons advantage, but I don't even know that Master Ray realized Dark Templar were in that fleet. Okay, Doodle has an Observer. There was no Counter Observer. Yeah, there's GG for Master Ray. Well played by Doodle. So despite the level 1 weapons, level 1 armor in that mid-game, Master Ray not having enough army, just raw army, and also I gotta say Doodle's micro was fantastic in those engagements. Just really group select firing over and over again, and as a result taking this match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll move. So Doodle is takes his first game, so it's 2-1. to one. It is a best of 5, I believe. We'll move on to the next match momentarily. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.